Kate Garraway hasn't had a break since husband Derek Draper was left fighting for his life after contracting COVID back in March 2020. She had recently planned a special family break in Paris with Derek and her children, Billy and Darcy. Sadly, on the morning of the trip, it was apparent that Derek was too unwell to join them. The trip to Disneyland carries nostalgic memories for Kate, as her last visit there had been with Derek present, not long before he contracted the virus. The couple had even exchanged jokes about how seriously the pandemic was being taken across the channel, little imagining that within weeks Derek would become seriously ill. Popping into a Parisian pharmacy, they'd seen signs everywhere warning visitors, no masks, all sold out. I remember Derek and I saying to each other, God, they're taking it really seriously over here and then we came back and... Literally about two or three weeks later, Derek got sick, she lamented. Those memories of the last time her husband was healthy means Disneyland now carries a special significance for Kate. The Good Morning Britain star mused sadly, it was the last thing we did together. Speaking to Giovanni Fletcher, the wife of McFly star Tom, on her Journey to Magic podcast, Kate confided that it had been a huge ambition for the entire family to return to Disneyland, with Derek present. Sadly, ill fate struck, as they discovered on the morning of the trip that he simply couldn't come. Instead, Kate was accompanied by her two children and her best friend Vicky and, despite her sadness, described the trip to their special place as amazing. Besides her Eurostar ride to Paris, the TV presenter hasn't taken a single holiday since before the pandemic began. Coping with Derek's health issues and spending tens of thousands of pounds on adapting the family home so that he can navigate it while virtually bedbound has taken its toll on her budget. Meanwhile, on occasions when she has taken a trip, it has been in search of a solution for Derek, such as their visit to Mexico for him to participate in a potentially life-saving medical trial. She explained to Giovanni that her husband is still very, very damaged. He still can't really move, still can't really speak, yes, still fed through tubes, and so tarries a long road ahead, she continued. If you compare to last Christmas or the Christmas before, when he was still in hospital then you can see improvement. The frustrated GMB star rationalized while discussing his challenging health battle, it's just, you just want it to be quicker and faster. Like everybody would. He spent most of last year in the hospital as well for various different things, so it was lovely to have him home. Kate also previously clarified that, contrary to reports, she has received no special treatment due to her famous status, and is still on NHS waiting lists from three years earlier. Perhaps there is the assumption that because I'm on the telly, and because people have heard so much of Derek's story, that we've had special treatment from the NHS or bypassed waiting lists, she told The Sun. However, she then adamantly continued that, despite things being extremely tough financially, we haven't jumped any queues, which is just as it should be, 